Now, anti-government forces in eastern Ukraine are saying more than 20 National Guard fighters have been killed near the city of Slavyansk during an overnight battle. Well, Roman Kostrov joins me now live from Donetsk near Slavyansk. What is occurring? What do we now know, Roman? Well, we do know that violence occurred uh, overnight uh, near one of the checkpoints, uh, at one of the checkpoints near the city of uh, Slavyansk, uh, which was under the control of uh, Ukrainian army. According to anti-government uh, uh, forces, at least uh, 20 uh, fighters of the National uh, Guard unit uh, had been uh, killed. Uh, we also learned that uh, the anti-government forces uh, destroyed uh, two armored personnel carriers belonging to the National uh, Guard. Now, the National Guard itself is a mercenary, a mercenary combat unit which was created specifically to aid the Ukrainian army in its military operation here in the east of the country. Meanwhile, Kyiv authorities have not confirmed this latest death toll. However, Kyiv did say that its army had already left the checkpoint out there. In a separate incident, incident a woman and her 26-year-old son had been killed killed uh, when a missile hit a residential uh, building uh, in the city of uh, Slavyansk. Uh, and uh, just to remind you, a week-long uh, truce, uh, which was uh, supposed uh, to end uh, on Friday uh, night, uh, was extended by Pyotr Poroshenko by another 72 uh, hours. Uh, meanwhile, the truce itself, the ceasefire, was uh, uh, very shaky, and uh, both sides of the conflict were uh, accusing each other of violating it uh, uh, several times. Uh, meanwhile, the president of Ukraine, Pyotr Poroshenko, uh, said that uh, the anti-government uh, forces had broken the ceasefire at least uh, uh, 50 times over the last week. Roman Kostrov, live from Donetsk in eastern Ukraine. First, thank you for the update. The shaky truce has been broken several times. Residents of the defiant city of Kramator say their city was shelled continuously throughout the week. There was ongoing artillery fire in the village of Semyonovka, which was almost razed to the ground. And the city of Slavyansk also came under artillery fire numerous times during the week. Now, the village of Prevolnaya saw one of the worst spikes of violence with one woman reportedly killed there. More than 100,000 people have crossed the Ukrainian border into Russia seeking refuge. That's according to the UN Refugee Department. People say they're fleeing their homes in fear of the continued shelling by pro-government forces.